This lab involves finding the specific heat capacity of an unknown metal. You will be using a styrofoam cup as your calorimeter and a hot plate to heat the water and the metal. The first thing you will need to do is weigh your metal square. You will have two different metal squares and a top loading balance is fine for these. Make sure you make a distinction in your notebook between the mass of the first and the second metal piece. Before you begin, you're going to want to hold your styrofoam cup up to the light while you look down the bottom. You can tell with this one there are several dots where a lot of light is coming through. Those are probably places where this will leak and we will lose some of our water which will A make a mess and B also affect our results. Once you have found an appropriate styrofoam cup that does not leak, weigh it on the balance. Only use about 50 milliliters. This will allow for a greater temperature change and allow you to maintain more significant figures. Then re-weigh the cup with the lid so that you can determine the mass of the water that you have added. Set this aside at your lab station so that it is not right next to the hot plate. We want to keep the temperature fairly constant inside the styrofoam cup. And if we move it closer and farther from the hot plate, it will start to fluctuate even before we add our metal pieces. After you have filled your 400 milliliter beaker with about halfway full with water, uh, this can be tap water, you can add your metal pieces. Now, if you want to add both at the same time, you need to keep track of which one is which so that you know which mass goes with which piece. You can always reweigh them after you do your experiment as well if you are uncertain. You're aiming for this to reach a boiling temperature. So once it gets to a boil, you're going to adjust the temperature on the hot plate, but keep it heating for, um, for a good 10 minutes before you do the next part of the experiment. It can be helpful to add a watch glass to the top of a beaker to help the uh, heat stay within the beaker and to keep the get the boiling process to, um, and to get the boiling process to occur more rapidly. It may take 10 minutes or so for the water to begin boiling and then you need to let it boil for another 10 minutes. Place your tongs into the beaker of hot water for the last minute or two before you remove the metal pieces. This way you are not transferring heat to the tongs from the metal pieces that needs to be transferred to the water. Remember that your thermometer needs to be in the water for 30 seconds to a minute before you take a reading of the water temperature. This is also true when you're taking the hot water temperature. Also, make sure that you lift the thermometer so that it is in the water but not touching the bottom of the beaker as the bottom of the beaker is probably a little hotter than the water. After you've measured the temperature of the hot water, run the thermometer underneath running water until the temperature comes back down below or to the same temperature that it was in the cup before you measured it. It may be below because as the water evaporates, it will cool off a little bit, but this won't make much of a difference to your measurements. However, if it is warmer than what your cup originally was, then you may have a problem. Transfer the metal piece to the styrofoam cup and quickly replace the lid and add the thermometer. The temperature change will take up to 30 seconds but you should see the final temperature within a minute of adding your thermometer. Record only the highest temperature as your final temperature. The final temperature of the water is the same as the final temperature of the metal. To see how to do the calculations for this lab, please watch the next video.